We're bringing our camper to the KOA in Cody, Wyoming today. There is only like three KOA holidays in the state of Wyoming. Like your candy necklace? There's only like three KOA holidays in the state of Wyoming. So you want to stay at a holiday, check this one out. It's real close to Yellowstone. But uh, what I'm going to do is give you actually a tour and a review of this KOA and kind of show you where you pull in, show you uh, some of the amenities. So stay with me here as I uh, cruise around this KOA. So as you're pulling into the KOA here, right over to the right, we actually got a few little kids things going on place to bowl, some cornhole, nice little uh, kind of picnic little area with a fire pit over there. And what I always like to show is when you pull in, kind of where you can park your rig. What I will tell you, and there's actually a video that I want you to jump over and take a look at, it's kind of funny that we posted, it's called the do's and don'ts. One of the things that I should have actually added is make sure when you pull into the RV park here, you actually pull forward, so that way people can come in behind you and park. Um, we actually had a guy that parked his big rig right here in front of the street. Basically made it to where everyone else had to pull in front of him um, to go check in in the registration area. I'll cruise in there, it's a nice little gift shop. What's really cool is over to the right is where we got our campsite over there because we're right by the kids area which I'll show you here they got a cool swimming pool
uh, jacuzzi, jump pad. Is that so fun? <laughs> oh, you cracked! Basketball court, the basketball court's really nice too and I'll give you a glimpse into that. But uh, yeah, pretty great place to pull in. Lots of room, not bad. Right behind me, you're gonna have uh, your propane tanks if you need to fill up. And you're gonna have basically the other side of the registration. I'm gonna shift back here. So here's the entrance. And then right over there, some bathrooms and showers. And then here, this is pretty cool. So we actually came here this morning for all you can eat pancakes. They did a good job too. Great service. And right off the area where you get the all-you-can-eat pancakes, you've actually got your laundry right here. Now they have a cool little place here called Hole in the Wall. And I think what a lot of people might use this for is just a place to relax. So moving right along, and I'm actually gonna show you where they have the first of their cabins. The other thing that's really nice about this is you have a really nice section for tent camping. I'm going to travel more to the back here because you actually got a row of cabins that are set up really nice. So I'm actually going to cruise over here, show you the comfort station, they call them. And this is going to be over on the rear left of the registration desk. And then right behind that are the teepees. We'll give you a glimpse into them. Now I always think the teepees are really cool. And I'm waiting for somebody that watches our channel to let us know what they think. Alright, let's check in this first teepee on the right. But what's cool about this one is it's got a little futon. Also, if you're worried about heat, they've got a heater and I believe that's like an air conditioning unit. Like I said, if you stay in a teepee, leave a comment, let us know what you thought. And on the other side of the teepees are some additional cabins. Uh, these look pretty nice. All right, the ladies are nice enough to let me tour this deluxe cabin here. So even though it's a KOA holiday, the footprint's not that big. I mean, you can get around pretty easily. Went by the cabins, the tent sites, went over to the teepees and looked at the deluxe cabin over there. Cabins, actually, I think there a few of them were kind of deluxe ones. Back to the main drag. So, so far, like I said, this is a pretty small footprint, pretty easy to get around. But again, right behind me, you've got your registration 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cruise over and just kind of show you some of the pull-throughs here. So pull-through sites are pretty awesome. They're big, easy to pull in. What we loved about it is it was close to the front by the play area. You like this? You and, like the swing uh, set here? You know, that way our kids could run out and play and we could still see them. The sites are pretty big, as you can see. Got our chairs set up. Got the little picnic table there with a good sized slab. And you've got a straight shot of the pool right over there. And it was easy to set up. The back had a lot of room. Now we got the one right on the edge here. So if you're checking out this KOA and you like this spot, we are on the very end, right by the play area. And you would think, well, is it gonna be loud? Actually, it wasn't. It wasn't loud at all. So it was, it was really nice. And if you have kids, this is gonna make it a whole lot better because right from our campground you've got you've got all the play area stuff you got the jump pad back there the swimming little place for the dogs which i'll show you and then you've got a pretty sweet basketball court okay moving right along past our campsite now Way back behind me, you can see the registration area. And right over in this area, we are getting to this spot where it says extra park. If you have visitors show up or maybe you're in town and somebody wants to pop by and see you. So it's something to keep in mind. Good, good RV park. I, I like it. You know, the sites are good. I do like the location of our site where we're yeah. at. We're right next to the, the playground stuff, right next to the pool and the hot tub. So that makes it really nice. Yeah, I mean, and that's kind of a key thing for us is we got our boys. So kind of what plays into factors for us if it's a good campground is if they're entertained and if they enjoy it, it it's that's a big part of it. And so they have a great play area here for mm -hmm. the kids. Like some KOAs we've been to have a tiny little playground and that's it. Like that's the entertainment or you know, just not much for them to do. Well, there's a basketball court that our older son absolutely loves. Yes. He goes there all the time. A good sized playground for our smaller son. And they got the jump pad. So they are like both thoroughly entertained for hours on end. And then plus they have the pool, but they also have a hot tub. So yeah. that makes us happy because we don't really like to go sit and freeze in the pool. So they got the hot tub. So like we've all been happy. <laughs> Brooke mentions the basketball court. What's really nice about it as well is they actually did give you basketball. Next to each hoop, there was some basketball set up there. Uh, so just in case you don't have one. The sites were great. Patios are really good. Yeah, sometimes I've ran into a situation, you notice in our other videos where the sewer pipes real down into the hole. This, there wasn't that issue there. The power was good. There wasn't any fluctuations in the power, so that was nice. There's not a lot of trees and grass here. Yeah. But it is something to keep in mind. They yeah, overall. They a really good store. They do. Which Her I store's always great. look for that because it's always kind of nice to just have like the little like, you know, fun touristy type things to buy, which they had. But it's also good to have the essentials. <laughs> like, yeah. you need to get some milk or right. you need to get this or that. And they have that too. So I, I really like the store they had. Oh, and breakfast. They serve free pancakes yes. every morning until 9 a.m. And that's actually very convenient because a lot of times when you're here, you're not staying here all the time. You're leaving. You're going right. to Yellowstone. You're going to go do things. And so it's super nice to have that breakfast where you just don't have to worry about it. And you eat and leave. So it's awesome. The other cool thing, too, is it is a smaller footprint. Some of the other resorts we've stayed at or, or KOA resort we stayed at and some of the other locations, they're a little bit bigger. So it does take a little bit longer to get around. I do wish they had some more dumpsters because <laughs> I, we had to walk away to go throw some stuff in the dumpster. And I, it was dark, so I was kind of walking all over the place. A few more dumpsters would be nice. Yeah, and, and I like, I mean, Cody itself is a smaller city. And then the campground's not very far out of Cody. So that's kind of nice because it just felt like if we wanted to go grab dinner or we wanted to go do something in town, it wasn't like, okay, we got to plan 20, 30 minutes for this. Everything is so small and so close. It was very convenient, and very easy. So that, that was really nice too. I've, I've been really impressed. I, yeah. I really like this campground and I think the boys really liked it too. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it was a good time. Yeah, it was. Yeah, definitely. So, and I'll tell you what, if this was helpful for you, give us one of these. We appreciate them thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them for us. We read them. We like them. If you're the kind of person that's into campground, camping, RVs, reviews of products, travel. If that's you, subscribe to our channel. We truly appreciate that. And thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more great content that is ready to come. Peace out.